Welcome back to the channel with Mr. Chen. Alright, so today we will be looking at a Briler SBA for the CXE students. Now, this is a sample that we will be looking at. Alright, guys, so if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and share the video with your friends. And I hope this video will help you to finish up your SBAs. Alright, so. As you can see now, this is the cover page of the Briler SBA, which is the investigation. So of course, you know, we have the investigation and the cost analysis. However, for this lesson or for this video, we will be looking at the investigation. All right. So this is the cover page of the SBA and it says my agricultural science, Briler livestock production investigative report. And this is a single award. All right, so on the cover page, it is also important for you to know that there are other information present. So, of course, the name of the student should be on the cover page, the student number, the school. And in this in this case, it is the St. Mary High School. Also, the title, which is the project title. And in this case, it is the effects of high profit supplement on the weight of Briar birds at the St. Mary High School. And of course the project start date and the end date all right so in this sample the start date is the 28th of september 2019 and the projected end date is the 28th of october 2019 all right so let's go down to page two all right so here on page two we have the main heading which is the introduction and of course in this sample it has a background a problem statement and the aim the introduction there is the broad topic but before we get into the details let me show you the scores that are allocated let us look at the guide here is the guide of the SBA the introduction it words two marks so here you see where you should have the name of the student the student registration number name of school title of project start the termination the table of content however you should know that those items do not attract uh, any mark all right so the parts that the items that attract marks are the problem statement clearly written that's one mark and the aim clearly stated all right so let us go back to the introduction so it values two marks so here we have the background so if you choose to put a background that's okay but you will not get any mark for the background what you'll get the mark for is the problem statement clearly stated and the aim all right anyways since it is already done and we are using this sample let's go ahead and go through the background so the background here says broilers are domesticated chickens specifically reared for meat production it belongs to the family of fowl called gallus gallus domesticus that's a scientific name popular breeds of broiler include eyeline ventress cross and shaver the birds reared by our class was Ventress cross with the following characteristics white feather yellowish, yellowish skin with rapid weight gain the birds were of market marketing weight at five to six weeks of age Broiler meat is a good source of protein vitamins and minerals and it is a low level of saturated fats when compared to beef the most popular meat consumed in jamaica Broiler production is a good source of income for farmers since the birds are marketable at five to seven weeks Birds are sold as dressed carcasses. There are three main systems of rearing broilers: one extensive or free range, two semi-intensive, and three intensive or deep litter system. And of course, students, the system that we use for this um, investigation is the intensive or deep litter. This investigation seeks to determine the effects of the use of high profit, which is a vitamin and mineral supplement. On the production of broilers at the school all right so even though it don't attract any mark it's okay you can add it still it provides information that are that is useful all right so let's get into the problem statement the problem statement states the demand for chicken meat is high and there is a need to improve the production of chicken meat therefore an investigation will be done at the St. Mary High School to study the response or effects of broiler chickens to the use of hypervit vitamins and mineral supplement 
to chickens that are reared without hypervit supplement. So in short, an experiment will be done basically to compare chickens that are reared using hypervit supplement to chickens that are reared without using any hypervit um, supplement. So that's what the SBA will be about. However, you should note that the problem statement, when you're writing your problem statement, it is important that you define a problem or a situation. All right. So in this case, there's a need for more chicken meat because the demand here in Jamaica or the Caribbean, it's very high. So an investigation will be done to see if hypervit when added to the diet of the chickens, if it would improve the weight of the chickens or not, or the production. All right. The aim to determine the effects of the addition of hypervit vitamin and mineral supplement on the weight gain in broilers and to determine whether or not adding hypervit makes economic sense at the St. Mary High School. So the aim is narrowed down as you can see. Uh, economic sense means if it will make a profit, if it is profitable when it comes to monetary value, if it is profitable or not. All right, so the introduction here, there, it values two marks. All right, so let's move to the next section of the SBA. All right, the next section of the SBA is the methodology. All right, guys, so the methodology, you're basically going to state, oh, you're going to set up your, your investigation, or you're going to set up the practical, what you're going to do to carry out this investigation. So the whole setup is done in this section. So let us go over to the guide to see the scores that and the section, the items that are allocated for the methodology. All right, so the methodology, as you can see here, it values six marks and the items that are graded are one, the experimental design. All right, so you can, either, you can do drawings and you can write it as well. All right, the third item is activities. So the activities, value a total of two marks and of course it means all the activities that will be done when you're carrying out the investigation all right so we look at that so for example stirring of the litter weighing of the chicks feeding of the chicks so you should list five or more of these activities and describe them if you want the full mark so to get the full mark for the activities you need to have at least five activities listed and um, described if you do one or four, one to four activities, you will attract one mark. And if you do no activities, you will attract, you will not attract any mark. And of course, three or more photographs showing students' engagement in this investigation. So for three or more pictures or photographs of you carrying out the experiment, that's one mark. So of course, you need we need evidence to show that you actually did the the SBA, right? The investigation. So you need to show yourself, ensure your face is shown and you can be identified from the photographs. And last but not least, the data collection also value one mark. So here the data collection will just state the type of information you will collect. So in all total, that's maximum of six marks. So let's go over back to the SBA sample. All right. So for the methodology area of the materials, 26 barrel chicks, so you're going to list them across, all right? So you just, you can list them down or you can go across. So this is across. So 26 broiler chicks, starter and finisher feed, wood shavings, hypervit supplement, electrolytes, disinfectant. And tools and equipment, a light source, feeder, water, broom, scale, bucket, shovel, garden hose, wheelbarrow, electric fan, feed bags, knives, plastic balls, gloves, newspaper, cloth. Some of these here, these are materials too, like the newspaper, the cloth. Some of these should be removed and put up here. All right, so the experimental design. So this is the design where you're going to basically describe the layout. So you're going to do your writing up, all right? And you can also, and a diagram is also added to supplement that design. All right, so let's get into depth with the experimental design. This experiment will be done in the poultry house at the St. Mary High School on the 26th of September 2019 to the 28th of October 2019. 24 one-week-old chicks will be brought into the school and reared in the brooder for two weeks. After brooding, the birds will be separated 
it separated into two sections section one the control and section two the treatment the birds in section one will not be given any high profit supplement in the drinking water meanwhile birds in section two will be given high profit supplement in the drinking water for the entire period of the experiment 12 brooded chicks will be randomly selected and placed in section one or two so when you're writing up your experimental design it should be done in future tense it does not happen you're just describing what will be done or will your experimental design set up all right and of course this is the diagram that is labeled to show how you will lay out your experiment so this there's a broad chicken coop and the section two section will be separated out and they will be labeled and the experiment will be done in the same chicken coop but they are done in different section all right all right so for the data collection now this is very important and as, as as you know this is a part of the methodology as well however the data collection here it should also be done in the future tense so the data collection in this section you will state the information that you will collect for your result right you're going to state what type of information you will collect so that's what the data collection is about Please note that it is different from the result. The result is the information that you actually collect. So very important, you should note that the data collection is done in future tense. So you write up this part in future tense. Basically outline the type of information that you will collect or the data that you will collect um, from your experiment. So let's go in depth with it. During the experimental period, the following data will be recorded in tables and will be used to plot graphs where appropriate. Very important, future tense, will be. A, broiler liveability. And this is the number of broilers surviving will be recorded during the experimental period. So in this SBA, it is clearly stated that the amount of birds that are alive at the end of the experiment that will be documented so if there are any mortalities that will also be documented that's what they are telling you all right the second type of information that will be collected in the result the second one b is the average feed consumption per bird per week so this is the feed will be first weighed before filling the feeders the weight of the feed given each was recorded during the process average feed consumption was calculated all right so it is the amount of feed that one bird eat per week that information will be documented right all right so this information will be collected and placed in the result very important so all the information you have listed in your data collection this information will be listed out in your result all right, so this is a formula that will be used. The average feed consumption equal weekly feed consumption over number of birds. All right, so the average feed consumption is the amount of feed that one chick will eat. That's what average means. All right, C, broiler live weight. So here, this is stating the live weight of the chickens that will also be documented. So all the birds were weighed at the start of the experiment before putting 12 each into pen one and two each week the weight of the birds were recorded so the live weight of the birds will be recorded on a weekly basis d feed conversion ratio so here the feed conversion ratio of the birds from the different section will be calculated and added to your result so the feed conversion ratio for each set of birds on a weekly basis was calculated using the formula so it is the weekly average feed intake over weekly weight gain. Uh, note brief, the birds were closely mon monitored throughout the period and observation, and observation was recorded. All right, so this is a list of activities and the two, maximum is two marks, as we said earlier. So broiler production practices. A, spacing. A spacing of one square feet per bird was used for each section of the experiment. In each pen section, 12 birds were reared. The floor space was calculated making allowances for one feeder and two waters. The pen 
that the Berber reared in was made with concrete blocks on the outside and used in deep litter consisting of wood shavings. Alright, so that's first activity. B, activity B that would be done is housing. Lights were provided at night to enable the birds to feed continuously. Feed bags were put around the window so that at night the birds will not feel cold. During the time the experiment was conducted, during the cooler part of the year, funds were not required. Third activity that will be looked on is nutrition. The birds were fed starter feed for up to four weeks. During the last two days of the fourth week, the finisher was cautiously introduced by mixing it with starter feed in increasing amounts. The birds had access to clean fresh water and clean feed to eat all times. The experiment had an addition of hypervit in one area and the control area where no hypervit was added. So of course, when you are feeding the chicks, you should ensure that you put your pictures here. So picture showing the layout of the pen, hypervit supplemented was supplement was added. So you can show where you take pictures of you adding the hypervit to the water. You could also take pictures showing students putting the chicks in the pen. All right. So for each um, activity, it's very important that you could get some pictures. Our next activity D is litter management. Litter is the sawdust that is used here, right? The litter was turned regularly using a rake and picked up with a shovel. All raked or wet litter was removed and replaced with clean wood shaving in exchange. The litter removed was placed in the school compost heap because it will not be used again, only a manure when well rotted. So students carrying out this activity, you should ensure that you have a picture showing you Stirring the litter, taking up the litter, changing the wet litter, etc. Alright, another activity that will be done is health management. Feeders and waterers were cleaned and sanitized regularly. The litter is exchanged with clean wood shavings continuously. However, since the birds were vaccinated by the provider, no medication was required over the experimental period. And of course, if you are carrying out these activities of cleaning the placents, you should put a picture of you doing that activity there. All right, slaughtering and dressing of birds. At the end of six weeks, 24 birds were ready for marketing. The birds were sold as dressed with. The birds were caught and weighed. The birds' neck were cut using a sharp knife, then allowed to drain and then dip in hot water. Plucking and gutting followed after which they were bagged, weighed and priced. The birds were sold to the members of the teaching staff and canteen at the St. Mary High School. The price sold was determined by the price at the pluck shop in the St. Mary High School. Of course, you carry out the activities of slaughter and you should add pictures there. Alright, so the next um, section of the SBA is the result. So please note, this is very important. So the data collection and the result section, they are different. The data collection state the information that you will collect and the result is the actual information that you collected all right so one is written in future tense and one is done in past tense so the result is written in past tense however all right so of course we said that you look at briler live ability so here table one shows the number of birds that survived over the experiment period all birds survived in the treatment section that's pen two and one bird died in the control section which is pen one in the third week so this is the information or data that was actually collected so as you can see this is the interpretation of the the, the table here so on week three 11 birds survived one died all the other survived all right so the experiment overall which is done in four weeks the first two weeks was brooding that is not calculated in the experiment all right so here you can see you have four weeks and this is the result of the birds that were alive at the end of the the four weeks of the experiment which is a total of six weeks all right so let's look at the feed consumption and remember this was stated in the data collection that you would collect this information all right so feed consumption Table 2 showed the average weekly feed consumption of the birds were in both sections of the pen. The average feed consumption per bird increased from 
134 gram to 7,854 grams for the birds reared in pen 1 and from 1,190 gram to 7,688 gram in pen 2 which is the treatment section this is where the, the section that the hyperbit is added on the average the birds reared in pen 2 hyperbit supplement was at 32.5 gram more than those in pen 1 without hyperbit supplement all right so that information is presented here and that was the interpretation for the data here all right so here it says it shows the four week that data the feed consumption the average feed consumption is collected all right so this is week three and pen one this is what one bird eat because i said is the average feed consumption of the birds right so one bird eat this in pen two one bird eat this amount all right in week four one bird eat this from pen one one bird eat this amount from pen two and the same thing continue and the total average averages were added up at the end here so this now this information is placed on a graph here right so it, it is placed in a table and it is placed in a graph so you can make different presentation of the same information or data so that is required from your sba right so figure two shows that in both the treatment and control section of the pen average feed consumption increase throughout the experiment period and display a similar pattern so of course this information in table you plot that on a graph and present it as well you will gain mark you will attract mark for that and we soon look at the guide to see how many marks you will get for this section all right see the broiler live weight remember in the data collection we say that you would collect the broiler live weight right all right so this is the broiler live weight and of course it shows the information here in table three here all right so this is the basically the interpretation for this table here so table three shows that as the birds get older their average weight increase reaching a maximum of 200 2380 gram per bird for pen 1 and 2480 gram per bird for pen 2 using hypervit at six weeks of age so this information here which is the interpretation it is shown in this table so so it says average weight here right average live weight so while the birds are alive they were weighed and the average weight calculated and placed here if you notice you are not seeing the calculation so in the result here you just state what you said you would collect but the rough work you would do that and you can add that in the appendix and another leaf right because you don't want to confuse the data you don't want to bombard the information so actually all this is done the, the birds will be weighed um at brooding right after brooding they will have some weight right so they will be weighed at the end of two weeks and at the end of three weeks and then the, the weight will be subtracted from the the last weight the first weight from the last weight and that's how they'll get the weekly weight right of the chicks so that calculation you are not seeing the calculation you're just seeing the results but that is done and you don't have to place that calculation in the result you can place it on another leaf or page all right so the interpretation in both pen one and two the bird displayed similar weight gain patterns the most rapid weight gain occurred during week three to five figure three showed the average live weight over the experiment period all right so that information above the live weight it is placed here so as you can see pen one is in blue and pen two in orange here and it should be labeled all right the other information that was said that that would be collected is the feed conversion ratio all right so the feed conversion ratio this information now data is presented in this table here so let's read the interpretation of the table so this is the interpretation table four shows that as the birds get older the feed conversion ratio increase at the start of the experiment both pin one and two at the same fcr value that is 1.4 to 1 at the end of the experiment pin 1 fcr was 3.3 to 1 and pin 2 was 3.1 to 2 the overall fcr cr for pin 1 was 2.15 to 1 and pin 2 was 2.09 
to one. All right, just a little quick information on what the feed conversion ratio is. Feed conversion ratio is how much feed that the bird will eat that would give them one kilogram of body weight. All right, if you know what, this information, the feed weight was collected in grams. So from this experiment, it is really is how much feed that the chicks will require to put on one kg or gram of body weight. But the standard unit is kilogram of body weight. But if you have your results in pound, you could say to put on one pound of body weight. All right. And of course, the lower the ratio, it means the chick would eat less feed to put on one kg or one pound of body weight. And the lower ratio is the better. It means that those chickens are doing better. They eat less feed and putting on more weight. All right. So the information is placed here. So on a weekly basis, the FCR was calculated. As I said, you will not see the calculation here, but I'm going to show you how they'd calculate this one. Let's go back to the formula. All right, so the formula that was stated in the data collection is that you'd use the weekly average feed intake over weekly weight gain. So that's the formula, the feed intake. So FCR mean feed conversion ratio. So you put the feed at the top and the weight of chicken at the bottom. So let's go down and find those results. All right, so the weight of the feed for week three here is 1,134, right? So let's go down, 1,134, and the weight is 810. All right, so let's calculate that. So we're working out this one, right? So let's go into pin. All right, so 1,138. So that's the feed. And the weight of the chicken was 810. So how you do it, you don't simplify, you just said 810 into itself is one. So remember, this is the weight of the chicken. So this would be one kg right there, right? So you're going to divide this now straight into this. So you could pop up your calculator, 1138 divided by one by 810. So let's go to the calculator. All right, so it is 1000. 138 divide divide by 810 and that's 1.4 there right all right so let's go back to the table here so you draw a line through that now I put one point so that's how you, you calculate your FCR. All you read is now. So this is average. So you're talking about one chicken here. So one chicken at 1.4 gram of feed because the information was collected in gram, right? To provide one gram of body weight. So that is how they got the 1.4 to 1. So this one here is this one here. The 1.4 here is this. So over here on the right side here. You put the weight of the chicken and over this side is the feed and that is how it is standard so all of them will have to one right and that's the body weight all right so looking at this table here the overall is that 2.15 to 1 you have here and this is 2.09 to 1 so this rate is less this fcr is lower than this ratio right so the pen with the hyperfit shows a better rate meaning the chicks, one chick in this pen, they ate less feed to provide, to produce that one gram of body weight. That's what it means. All right, so let's continue. So all these calculations, as I said, you will, they are not shown in the result. It's best you open an appendix page and add it. All right? Because you don't want a lot of work out here. 
All right, that information that is here, the FCR, it is plotted on a graph here. All right, so you try to present your information in more than one form. All right, so this is in a bar graph here. All right, the next section that we're going to move to is, is the discussion. But before we move into this session, let's go back over to the guide to look at the marks that were allocated to the results. So the results, it was allocated a total of four marks. And there, in this part, you should have collected relevant data. So remember, it's two different things. The data collection tells you which information you will collect. It's written in future tense, but the collected data is done in past tense, which is the actual result that you collected. The presentation of the results, it's done in table. You see, we've done some in um, bar graphs, line graphs, that's one mark each. The interpretation of the results. So, of course, the interpretation, which is the little write-up, of what the information is saying when it is fully interpreted that's two marks if it is partially that you get one mark and if you did not attempt to interpret your data that's you will not get any mark and the maximum you get for the interpretation is two marks the discussion is three marks so you should discuss your findings or the results basically and that's three marks maximum you will get if you partially discuss the results you get two mark and if you discuss the fine with no support in literature that's one mark so let's go over back to the sba all right so let's go back so let me show you the interpretation again so this here is the interpretation you're basically stating what is you will present all right you're explaining what you got all right so the discussion of course you're just going to discuss your findings or in other words, you discuss your result. The, any the information that you collect in your result, that's the information you're going to result, discuss. Basically, you're, stating, you're going to state why you get those, why you think you get you got that result, and why that result was that uh, f f so forth. So the discussion here, first we're going to look at the broiler liveability. So one broiler died over the experimental period. This was due to the fact that the birds were smaller with a lame leg. So it was probably not able to survive with this disability. All the other birds survived over the period, meaning that both groups were given adequate food and water. The addition of soluble electrolyte to the drinking water in the brooding stage may have also contributed to their eye liveability in that the necessary vitamins and minerals needed for the health growth and development of the birds were supplied all right so discuss that let's move to the feed consumption part in both pen one and two the birds ate approximately the same amount of feed so in in the section we have no, no eye profit which is pen one the bird ate 14 1976 grams while those with eye profit they ate more 15,117 gram however the birds receiving the eye profit ate 141 grams more all right so that's the discussion so basically it's saying that the eye profit the chicks are giving the eye profit because it supplements it help them to recover their stress so they ate more and in your discussions you try to use your figures all right you make comparisons with your figures all right, let's look at the live weight of the bird. In both the areas of the experiment, the bird displayed similar live weight gain pattern. And at the end of the experiment, six weeks, the average live weight was 2.4 gram and 2.5 gram for pen one, where no hyperfit was added. And pen two, this is a pen that the hyperfit was added respectively. All right, so the chickens that was given hyperfit, they were a 0.1 gram heavier. These results indicated a 0 0.1 gram difference with the use of hyperfit on the live weight of the birds. All right, so let's discuss the feed conversion ratio. At week 3 and 4, the FCR in both pen 1 and 2 was approximately the same, which is 1.4 to 1 and 1.8 to 1 in pen 1 and 1.4 to 1 and 1.85 to 1 in pen 2. In week 5 and 6, the FCR varied a bit, with the birds in pen 2 showing a slightly better FCR 2.1 to 1 versus 2 to 1 in week 5, and 3.3 to 1 versus 3.1 to 1 in week 6. All right, so the overall FCR varied a little, with the birds receiving hyperfit having a slightly better FCR of 2.01 to 1, According to the article, how do we measure performance in poultry industry? 
2018, the lower the FCR, the more efficient animals are at converting feed into food. So this is a citation here telling that when the chicks have a low FCR, it means that they are converting the feed better than those that have high FCR. All right, so the chicks basically they, that were given the high profit, they have a better FCR. All right, so we are now at the conclusion, limitation, and recommendation. So the discussion was completed there. So the conclusion now. It can be concluded that rearing birds using addition of high-profit supplement to the feeding regime resulted in a slightly increase in broiler production at the St. Mary High School. So what that is saying is, in short, the chickens that were given high-profit, they perform better. Right, that's what it's saying from this experiment and result that we got, right? So, and this should be written from your problem statement. So when you're writing your conclusion, you should always reflect back at your problem statement when you're writing. As it's stated here, it's the problem statement says, the demand for chick meat is high and there is a need to improve the production of chick meat. Therefore, an investigation will be done at the St. Mary High School to study the response or effects of bridal chickens to the use of hyperbits and mineral supplements to chicks that are weary without hyperbit. So, the effect is that the FCR of the chicken would increase with hyperbit. All right. We could also make relevance to the aim. It should be relating to the aim as well to determine the effect of adding hyperbit vitamin on the weight gain of the broiler and determine whether or not adding hyperbit make economic sense at the St. Mary School. So yes, the conclusion could have that that it makes economic sense to give your chicks hyperbit. All right. All right. So let's go back down to the limitations. All right, so the limitation, some of the limitations of the experiment are the number of birds reared were too few to make a generalized statement, all right? So if you, um, limitation means anything that or anything that could affect the result, your results of the experiment. So the more chicks you, you use in your experiment, the better you could generalize, you could, the more accurate your result would be, all right? And the second part, the trial was not replicated the trial was done only one time for the year, therefore not taking into consideration other weather conditions. So to get a more accurate reading, it should be done more than one time throughout the year. All right. And the recommendation is to replicate the experiment and ensure the environment is controlled. And of course, last but not least, you should have your references that you got your information from. All right. So it's from the net, from the books. All right, students, so that's the end of the investigation. And of course, let's go back to the guide. I want to just point out the summarize what was done. So the ex introduction, it got two mark here, one for problem statement and one for aim. The methodology is basically how you will set up your experiment in order to gain your result. So you should have the experimental design, which you you have a written up section and a diagram. You should list the materials and equipments, state the activities that will be carried out. You will do photographs of showing yourself doing the activities and the data collection. You state the information that you'll collect in, the, in your result. All right, the result, which values four marks now, you should have the relevant data that is collected, the presentation of the result, which is in table, graphs, pie charts, etc. And of course, you should interpret your result, which attracts a maximum of two marks. And the discussion, it attracts three marks, limitation one, recommendation one, conclusion one. Um, also, a presentation overall is one mark, reference one mark and the total is out of 20 but that will be divided by two and it will go it will be added to your overall score as 10 percent here all right guys please remember to subscribe to the channel leave a comment i'll try to reach out to you if i can um please share the information with your fellow classmates your students etc until then